This is the 2005 Excursion 4x4 diesel that I have on eBay. And I thought I'd do a video just to answer a few questions. And then after we do a walk around and I show you a few things, I'll take it for a test drive and then set up a tripod in, inside and take you guys along with me for the test drive. Like I mentioned before, this excursion has a decent paint job on it. It is clean. It's the original paint. It has a few things on it that we can point out. There's a little dent here. I have pictures of that on the eBay ad. You can see it's a pretty small dent, but it's there. That was a palm tree backing into a parking spot in Florida. And then there's a little kind of a scratch type dent here on the front fender. I think that was a shopping cart in a parking lot. It just appeared one day and, and I don't know how that happened. And then, um, wow, there's a lot of pollen here on little cat prints. Springtime pollen. Uh, you can see the windshield, you see the crack here. It runs across, kind of goes to the middle, and then sort of goes back the other way, all the way to the bottom. Uh, so it really doesn't impede uh, the line of sight when you're driving it. That'd be up to the buyer if they want to replace it. And then um, I mentioned this is a prior police vehicle. Uh, it was assigned to the sheriff of Rockdale County, Georgia. And uh, he used it as his personal, or the, it was the county's vehicle, but it was assigned to him personally. So it was never, you know, a patrol vehicle or anything, and it was very well kept. Uh, but there is evidence of prior police um, usage. A few things that I'll point out, you can see inside the uh, grill here, you can see some uh, where a mount was there for the flashers. You can see it there as well. And then inside the headlights here, uh, you can see where they had a, there's a socket installed for a flasher. And that's on both sides. There's another one there. Let's see what else. Um, I had mentioned on the ad that there's a the floor mat had a hole in it from the the heel, um, and that just needs new floor mats. We'll fix that, and then you'll see these switches here on the dash. I guess these ran blue lights and siren and so forth. Um, I've never had them or hooked up to anything, but I left them there because they're it's cool. It's on like a um, this is an aluminum panel. It's done very well. And uh, I don't know, maybe you can find some use for the switches. There's another one here. Uh, let's see. Um, on the visor, up above the visors, you can see where there were mounts um, for, I guess, blue lights or flashers. And there was one in the center, and there's one on the other side. You know, you can't see it from the inside unless you actually tilt your head to look under the visor. But from this view, sitting inside the vehicle, you can't see that at all. Um, and then on this console, if you kind of pull back the seat here, you can see where they had, I, I, evidently that was a radio mounted there, probably a radio, but I never replaced it because um, I was going to replace this console, but you really can't see, you can see a little bit, maybe one screw hole here, but you kind of have to pull back the seat to see it all. So, you know, from this angle here, you can't see it all. But those marks are there. Let's see the interior. I got decent shots 
um, pictures of the interior, but I'll give you another view here. It's clean. Nothing's ripped. These seats are obviously cloth, but pretty good support. Power seats. And then here's second row seating. Seats are clean. No rips. There is no rips or even any staining in the in the floor. And then the third row seats. There's also a little pull down armrest here. The tires, um, Michelin LTX, uh, 10 ply. And I don't have a coin in my pocket, but I would estimate they're about 50 to 60% maybe. See that on my thumb. They're in pretty good shape. They ride smooth. Oh, and something I forgot to mention on the ad, this fuel nozzle has been upgraded to accept uh, the high, high, high flow, um, the larger nozzle that you can, you can go through a truck stop and get the actual high flow nozzle in here. So you don't have to, if you're towing something and need to go through some of the big semi-truck lanes, you can do that. And the cargo area is clean. It's not scratched up hardly at all. There's couple of little marks here, but nothing major. It can probably be cleaned off. And then the spare tire carrier. Um, I don't think this spare tire has never been out. I can't really, I've never had the cover off myself, but in looking at it, it's never been out of the truck. It's, it's not even dusty, you can see how clean still has the factory markings on it sticker oh and then up here on this uh, deck lid the very top there's these little slits here uh, i think this is where another bracket came down to hold a set of flashers for the police use And then one other thing that I want to show you is still intact from the prior police use. Up top, there's a lot of pollen here. But you can see these antennas, they're still in place. Let's give you a closer look. So I guess those are low profile antennas. You can't see them from the ground. And uh, you know, they're, they're installed correctly. They, they don't leak or anything like that. But you may be able to, you know, if you, if you have a CB antenna, you may be able to tap into them and use them. And um, well, let's see. I'll take you under the hood. She's fairly clean under the hood. Um, Ever start batteries, they're about a year and a half old, maybe, maybe, maybe 18 months. 
but I keep, anytime I'm not driving it, I keep them plugged up. I have this battery tender installed um, permanently. And I just plug that up and it keeps the batteries tip top shape at all times. Let's see. Um, it is studded and it's been deleted. This air box um, is about the best option I think you can get over the factory style air boxes. The factory style air boxes start falling apart, they start leaking. And um, this is a good air box. The only thing about this particular one, if you, you know, if you get into, uh, if you get into a lot of power with it and immediately let off the accelerator, you get a little bit of burping and fluttering that you can hear that comes back through the air box. That's normal. There's a kit that you can put on it to stop that or to stop the sound, but it doesn't hurt anything. And radiator's new. Uh, fairly new. I mean, it's been a, uh, I can't remember how many years now, two or three, maybe three, two, two, two years maybe. Uh, the radiator was uh, started to develop a little pin leak and um, I took it to the dealership. Even though I hate going to the dealerships, I took it there and uh, just went ahead and, and have them. They put in a brand new Ford radiator, um, all new hoses, a uh, new uh, bottle and um, and everything so cooling system is new um, under the truck it's relatively clean there's no rust under here you've got a little bit of Oops. I can get under here a little bit of surface, you know, rust on this chunk. I mean, that's not really even rust. You can actually almost wipe that off. Yeah, it's just on the paint. Um, you know, you can repaint these if you want, but you know, it's clean. got a Banks exhaust system on it and it still has the converter uh, I never removed the converter obviously when it, when the when it was county owned you know from a compliance standpoint they couldn't remove the converter obviously so it's still there it's in place there's the Banks muffler but um, you know, I don't think I'd remove that converter. It's um, truck has plenty of power. The converter is in good shape and it keeps it quiet. The wheels are in pretty good shape. They shine up nice. Factory. 